everybody. Wednesday, a little, uh, a little dreary out here. A little rainy today. That's all right. Good to see you guys. I uh, wanna wanna get into uh, maybe some some heavy truths today, but also some really um, some really good things that uh, come as a result of it. So um, you know, we've been talking about just just some foundational, basic building blocks uh, of our faith. And, uh, and so that's been hopefully a good refresher. Uh, I'm not sure that it's, it's been a lot of new, uh, things, but, but hopefully still, still somewhat, uh, exciting, uh, thinking about who God is, uh, why he made us and, uh, different attributes of God. Um, so good to see you guys. Liebargers. What's up, Bernie? Good to see you. Good morning. Uh, roses, Trey Johnson. Hey man. So, uh, look today, today is actually some, uh, some bad news theologically, but it's, it's going to lead to really good news. Um, in Ephesians two is this passage I want to, want to bring us to today. And, um, you know, these truths we're talking about are foundational, uh, especially, then we're going to talk about today and, the, and the, the title of this or the description, I guess I put was why do I, what, what's the reason? Like, why do I do what I do? And, and it goes back to this question. Um, you think about Adam and Eve, we talked about, you know, how God made them and, and why they're made. They're our first parents. Well, so God put Adam and Eve in the garden and, um, and they were perfect, naked and unashamed. Uh, man, they had it all. And uh, they were in covenant with God. Their, their one responsibility was, uh, you know, or, or one rule rather is, is don't eat the fruit in the garden uh, on that tree, that one tree, and uh, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They do it. We know the story. Um, and so the question is, uh, after, after Adam and Eve disobe disobeyed God, um, what effect did that have on us? Did, like, did Adam sin? Did it just affect himself? And, and that's a great question for us to understand. Why do I do what I do? You know, am I uh, a sinner because I sin? Or do I sin because I'm a sinner? And, and so the question about Adam's sin is, did it affect just himself? No, Adam sinned. Uh, three things. It made everybody lose communion with God. So all men. You know, he lost communion with God. He got kicked out of the garden. Um, uh, it made us all receive a sinful nature, and then it made us all, all mankind, subject to God's wrath, right? So we are now subject to uh, the wrath of God, the wrath and the curse of God, which is the, the consequence for our, our sins. And, um, and that's Adam's punishment was, was death and separation from God. So God said, in the day you eat of it, you'll surely die. And, and uh, that wasn't an immediate physical death. Uh, it was a spiritual death. He was separated from God. Um, but what about us, right? So we're talking about we now have become sinful in our nature. Listen to what uh, Ephesians 2 says. I want to read this, verse 1 through 3. And you were dead in your trespasses and sins, in which you formerly walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, that's Satan, the spirit that is now working in the sons of disobedience, among them, we too all formerly lived in the lust of our flesh, indulging in the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. Uh, so, so what this means is that we inherited a sinful nature. We inherited a nature that was contrary to God, to loving Him, um, and that needs to be redeemed. Uh, and and this, this doesn't excuse sin, but it is good for us to know, why do I sin? Where does this come from? Well, it's because I was born into this, this nature that was broken, uh, that wasn't free. It wasn't uh, holy. It wasn't redeemed. It needs to be all those things. I love what, um, listen to what 
Paul says, if I can find, I'm sorry, not Paul. Uh, in Psalm, I'm not gonna be able to find it. Um, oh, here we go, here we go. No, no, I can't find it. Killing me, killing me. You're killing me, Petey. Smalls. Um, I just had, here we go. Psalm 51, five, Paul writes, I mean, David writes this, surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. So he realizes, man, I've got some things going on in me um, from the very beginning. I mean, I was conceived sinful when I was born. Um, and, and so, so now like there's, there's this part of me that just is always going to tend toward, um, doing what is contrary to God's will. Um, so, so why, why are we talking about that this morning? That's not encouraging. Yeah, I know I'm broken. I know I don't, uh, like to do the things that, that I probably should be doing. Um, it's because if, if we never realize our lost state, the gospel is never going to be good news to us. Um, we've got to understand our lost state. We've got to understand where we came from, what is our desire. And also, I think it teaches us something about God and that, you know, people all the time ask, man, why does God allow death and suffering and dying and all these things in the world? Why did he make all that stuff? Well, if you understand original sin, you understand God didn't make those things. When God made the world, there was no death. There was no uh, suffering. There was uh, n none of the hardship that we go through. His uh, original plan was a good one. It was beautiful. It was um, pure and lovely. And one day we're going to go back to that original plan. He's going to redeem all the things that have been broken. Uh, but that's not as hard for us. Those things happen as a result of Adam's sin. And so, uh, so anyway, man, I've already got some guys here Got some servicemen in my house they're here early i'm gonna have to wrap this up see these guys um but i want to i want you to hold on go read ephesians 2 4 today in the first two words the best two words in the whole bible right so it's talked about we were dead in our transgressions but god and uh and so i just wanted to kind of set you up for that this morning uh i love you guys and uh, Lord, I just pray your hand and blessing would be on everybody who's watching today. God, help us to realize uh, just how good you are to redeem us out of um, the brokenness we were born into in Jesus' name. See ya.